Hey guys, it is me. Check that. I know it's been a while. And I have a reasonable excuse when I'm sitting here on Eddie's couch eating an orange. Mm -hmm. I had an iPod from which I was recording everything for my two previous videos. And that iPod decided to die when I plugged it into Eddie's Xbox. Can I this? Yeah. Um, so yeah. In fact, I think I had just recorded a video. And I plugged it in to upload it. And it was like, nope. I'm gonna fry everything. I couldn't even get it fixed. Because, like, literally the whole thing was fried. Yeah, I just did that. Anyway. So. I don't even remember why I was making this video. Oh yeah, I have a little story for you guys. Half of you probably already know it, because I know most of you are from my Instagram channel. Channel. Account. Instagram account. But, uh... I live in Alaska, and like last week... I was in Homer. No, I was in Palmer. We were supposed to go to Homer, we never made it. I was in Palmer for a week. And my homecoming was on Saturday. Uh, started at 8, got over at 11, like most, at least in Alaska, like most homecomings. But I didn't end up getting into town until 2 a.m. Sunday morning. So I missed the end of it by three hours. So, yesterday, called up Eddie and was like, hey... I'm gonna come over later, and he's like, oh, well, I'm going to my homecoming. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go with you, and he's like, okay, I don't think you'll be able to get into the dance part, but you can get into the game if you have five bucks. So, I brought five bucks, ended up only needing three, because it was three for students, and they thought I went to West Valley, so I saved my two bucks and change, it's over there. Um... And by the way, I paid it, paid for it with pennies, nickels, and dimes, because I'm cheap. Uh, See, so yeah, I got into the game, he sat there for about 20 minutes, then our bud Elizabeth came up, and she was like, yeah, I'm doing this floaty float. Floaty float. Yeah, floaty float. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, we sat there. We played some, uh, what is that app called? Quiz Up. Quiz Up. Played Quiz Up. Um, and now she is, like, in the top ten Harry Potter, I think it was. No, top ten office. No, she's number one in the office in Alaska. Really? Yeah. I thought she was number one in music theory. She is number one in music theory. Okay, well, she was number one in music theory in Alaska before, but because of me and Eddie, she's number one in the office the TV show in Alaska. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can find that and then stalk her. If you can, don't. Because that's weird. And if you do that, it's pretty weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. And then, oh wait, no, it was top ten in Disney in Alaska that she got. No, she got top, she got, uh, oh yeah, it was top ten in Disney. Mm -hmm. But she got number one in the office. Number one in the office, number one in music theory. And then she tried to explain to me what music theory was, and they're like, what is an aleolic scale? I was like, I don't know. Great story, bro. Yeah. Um, so then, I met up with my friends Isaac and Christian. Actually, I knew a lot of people. I don't go to West Valley. So this is the whole weird port of this port. Weird part of the story. I don't go to West Valley, which is the school that this story takes place. I go to Lathrop, which is like a competing high school. Not really, but, you know, it's a different high school. So if you go to West Valley, you hate Lathrop. And if you go to Lathrop, you hate West Valley. I don't really care. But that's just, like, a general thing. You guys know. You've been to high school. Maybe. Uh, yeah. 
a good 80% have been high, t high school. Uh, if not, then you know what I'm saying. Anyway, long tangent. Uh, so yeah, the weird part of the story, I didn't go to that school. No one questioned me, ever, the entire time. So. But you couldn't go through the front. Yeah, I couldn't go. We're not there yet. Oh, no, I'm I'm at the game still. Oh, you are. This is before we met Brianna and oh, okay. either of the Briannas. There were two Briannas, Dos Manos. Uh, so then, my friend Brianna, with an E, I almost said her last name. That would have been terrible. My friend Brianna with an E, and my ex, and my Wajian white Asian, face of an Asian, skin tone of a white chick, um, they found us, and they're like, hey, yeah, we're gonna go with you and go do stuff, and then we met up with Isaac and Christian, so that was cool, um, I guess you guys can probably tell, I'm pausing a lot because this is a relatively short story. Kinda. Okay. Actually, the story was really, really long. Like, it was seven hours? From four to like four. one in the morning. Eleven. No, I'm counting until when we got here. Okay. So yeah. So from like four to eleven, 11 in the morning. Hours. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine hours. Long story. But you guys it's get the short, short. You get the short version with a bunch of pauses. Long story short. And, uh, so yeah, we met up with them, and they're like, dude, it's almost 8 o'clock, which is when the dance part started. I mean, we, none of us really cared about homecoming game, and it didn't really matter because West Valley lost anyway. Yeah, they lost pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, so, like, okay, let's go find a way to sneak in. Actually, we got in the first time... Because Brianna with an I needed her French homework. So yeah, that's how we got in the first time. And for some reason, we didn't stay in there and wait. Probably because it was only like 6 then. But yeah, so around half time of the game, we, uh... Started walking to find a way in because I couldn't go in because they'd check the school system for my name, so I'd either have to come up with a fake name and that matched the West Valley. yeah that matched a West Valley student that wasn't already there, or and that probably wouldn't have even worked because I'm sure they had pictures or sneak in or like bribe them or something, but two bucks and change won't get you much. <laughs> leverage on a teacher. So, we, what we did, we had three chances to get into the school. The first time was when Brianna was getting her French homework. The second time, we went all around the building looking for open doors. And the high school kids who weren't playing, I don't know what team it was. I think that was the varsity team. It was Collins. No, it was West Valley that let us in. It was? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's probably the JV team. Alright. Well, one of the teams, I don't know which, let us in. And, uh... Yeah. That was when we got Brianna's homework. And then... We went around to the back, and the bus doors were open, and we almost went in, but we there was a lot of people in there, and we didn't want to get risk. We didn't want to risk getting caught and not none of us being able to go. So then we were just in the back, in the uh, baseball field, right? That was a baseball field, right? Yeah, it was a, I think it was like a softball field. Softball field, whatever, same thing. Same. Uh, same. Yeah. So yeah, we were hanging out there for a while. And then, like, I said a couple things to my Wajian. Not bad things. Not bad things. Good things. 
I insulted everybody but my Asian. You didn't call me. I'm sure I did, and you just didn't hear it. Wow, that's really <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, I made a lot of short jokes. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, exchanged a couple phone numbers, like three, um, but then my Asian had to go home, and this was like, if there's a bad part of the story, this is the bad part. Eddie and Elizabeth decided to tie Isaac's shoe <laughs> to the top of the, like, on, ball ball chain, like, you know, like Olympic thing. They have the chain, or the ball on the chain, and they swing it around and throw it. They had one of those there for some reason. I don't know. They decided to climb up there. Tie his shoelace to the fence at the very top. So my Asian is leaving, and I'm like, crap, I need to go say something, because, you know, there's a little romantic interest there. But at the same time, it's like, I can't just leave Isaac here. He's too fat to climb that fence. No <laughs> offense, Isaac, because I'm sure you're going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, he, he can't climb that. I don't know how Eddie got it up there. Was it Elizabeth? It was, it was, it was okay. It was Elizabeth that got up there, but it was Eddie's idea. Yeah, I definitely couldn't have done that. It was Eddie's idea for sure. Uh, so I need to throw my orange away. So uh, not my orange, my orange peel. I'm not wasteful. Uh, so I climbed up there. It took me a while to get up there because my shoes are kind of big and they didn't fit in the holes. So at first I kind of tried to do just like my upper body strength and like my fingers and that didn't work. So then Eddie started laughing at me because I couldn't climb the fence. To be fair though, it was a good 30 foot fence. It was not. That is a lie. It's a 30 foot it fence. It was like 15 feet. 20. 15. 20. 15. 17. It was a 30 foot fence. <laughs> so I climbed this huge 30 foot fence barefoot. I did actually take my shoes off, that's not a lie. Climbed a 30 foot fence without shoes, all using upper body strength and my magical finger strength. I climbed a 15 foot fence without shoes on. Congratulations. And then I couldn't untie a shoe. So, that took forever. I tried to rip it with a pen, but then my good pen broke, which sucked, because I really like that pen. I have a pen fetish. A pen fetish? Uh, oh hey, Destiny's done. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, so I got a shoe down. It, I was up there for like 20 minutes, because, you know, it was like, it was the, there was like a 10 foot fence, and then there was a big bar, and then there was another 5, 7 feet, so I was standing on that bar, and his shoe was at the very top, so I was sitting there, like, it was kind of windy, so I was kind of scared I was going to fall off, so I was sitting there, about 10, 12 feet in the air, untying a shoe, and the only way I could make sure that I didn't fall was I had to lean onto the fence because I needed both hands to untie the shoelace because they did like the one string knot they didn't tie them both so and then the stupid aglet if you don't watch Phineas and Ferb then you suck and you don't know what an aglet is but the aglet what? most likely yeah um but so that the aglet was it, was, it just made it really hard to untie. It was really hard to untie. I was up there for 20 minutes untying a shoe. So, not really 20, it was more like 10. But So by the time I untied the shoe, I jumped down. I had Isaac grab my stuff that I left on the field because my Wajin had already left and on her way to Hutch, which is right next to West Valley. 
Yeah, that's another school. So, she was on her way to Hutch because she had to go home. So, it was like, I need to sprint. And what ended up happening was I got separated from everyone for a good 15 minutes. Almost 20. Uh, because I went to go look for my Asian. So, I sprinted to Hutch. Somehow, I beat them to Hutch. Turned around, went back to the field, went to the football game. Okay, let me, okay. Let's say that this, this here, this portable charge right here, this is the football field. Just imagine it's kind of round. Now, over here, this big red bag thing is uh, West Valley. It's, this is not to scale, obviously. Now, the football, or the... Softball field that we were in, sorry, I got like a cold or something, is like back here. So, West Valley, football field, softball stadium, I feel like the map. West Valley, football field, softball field. You know the map from Dora? Arascate? Wait, fuck. That's. That's Diego. Uh, uh, sorry, I got my Mexicans mix mixed up. So, anyway, we're back here. So I run all the way up here, and I go around, and Hutch is like my kneecap. So I go way over here. I go around the football stadium field, not stadium, get to Hutch. I somehow beat them. At this time, they're like over here. I somehow beat them, turn around, go back to the softball field to see if maybe they left something and they went back to go get it. Then I go to the football game, then I go back to Hutch, then I go back to the football game, and then I meet them, like, around going up to McDonald's. And then we got separated, I met them all again, Brianna with an E was like, yeah, she left, and I was like, crap, text me her phone number, and I didn't have my phone on me at the time, so, yeah. Uh, so then, me, Christian, and Isaac went to go find a way in. And Brianna, we left Eddie and Elizabeth. Yeah, we left Eddie and Elizabeth. I think. Uh, they went to McDonald's. And then, Elizabeth. And then Elizabeth left Eddie, so Elizabeth and Eddie were alone, and it was me, Christian, and Isaac. So me, Christian, and Isaac went to the side where all the football players were, and... That's how we got in. They let, or they didn't even need to let us in. They unlocked the doors uh, between our attempts. So between the second and third attempt, they had unlocked the doors so that the football players could get in. So that's how we got in. And there's this part... What is that room called? Where homecoming was. Um, like the cafeteria area. Yeah, so like, like the cafeteria like area. There's a part in that cafeteria area, like a big, like, and it is, there's this, like, corner of bricks, like, a handrail, I think, it, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but there's this, there's this corner, and it's next to a couple of things, it's out of the view, no one could see us, unless we looked for them, so we sat in that corner for a while, uh, for, like, ten minutes, and then we saw, like, enough people in, like, okay, we can get out, it's safe. And, uh, so then that's when, like, the homecoming, like, dance started. So that was, that was, like, seriously the most fun of my life ever. That was really fun. And, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, anyway, so we're sitting in that corner for a while, and then enough people come in. And then Eddie didn't get in for like another 30 minutes. Yeah, you made me and Elizabeth pay for it. Yeah, they paid, we didn't. Homecoming. And, uh... Anyway, sorry. Just looking at TV. So, yeah. Uh, so then, eventually we all met up again. And, uh, yeah. So... Christian was pretty flirtatious. <laughs> flirtatious. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
That sucks. Why is it installing? Anyway. So yeah, Christian hooked up with some chick. Good for him. Um. Oh no. My Asian might be texting me right now. Oh god. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. Non-stop dancing for three hours. Very tiring. Yeah. Uh, we left, like, five minutes early, just because... My general rule is, once people start replaying songs, you leave. Because it's not as fun. So, yeah. And it was, there was a lot of people. It was a relatively small area. There was, like, two, three hundred people. There was a lot. A lot. So, it got super hot, super sweaty, really fast. And it smelled terrible. But no one cared, because it was, it was really fun. Sorry for that. That's shit. But yeah, um, I was wearing all white. Look at all that white. I was wearing this. This was all just yesterday, and I just had to Yeah, I was wearing all white. Uh, so, and these joggers are kind of... I mean, they're, they're kind of thin, but it still got really hot. And, uh... I'm wearing two shirts so that was, that was yeah, he's wearing two shirts, so... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That looks so weird. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, at like 10.50-something, Christian was saying goodbye to this chick that he hooked up with. And we were like, okay, yeah, let's go. And me and Eddie, and we took Elizabeth home. We went to Safeway. Got some snacks. Couple Mountain Dews. Came, home, came home, watched one YouTube video, like ten minutes long. Eddie fell asleep watching it. So then I moved to the couch and started like getting ready to go to sleep, you know, like curling and up. Then I woke up. He woke up, laid down on that couch over there, and then we were passed out within seconds. It was we were tired. Like I don't know if you guys know, but three hours of non stop dancing your legs hurt. I woke up this morning, and my thighs, man. That hurt just slapping me. That sound? Ow. Yeah, my, my, my legs still hurt. Painful. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and listening to this potentially boring story about my homecoming that wasn't my homecoming. There'll probably be more stories about different dances. Yes. Stay tuned in two years. Maybe you'll hear a prom story. I'm a freshman.